Hello and welcome to good old radio vintage radio shows. Kick back, grab a cup of coffee, some favorite tea, and let's start the show. Today's show is Hopalong Cassidy presents The Mystery of Skull Valley. Sponsored by Cutting Edge Radio Network, let's begin. It's Hopalong Cassidy. With action and suspense, out of the Old West comes the most famous hero of them all, Hopalong Cassidy, starring William Boyd. The jingle of the silver spurs heralds that fabulous figure of the early West, Hopalong Cassidy. The same hoppy you cheer in motion pictures with the same California you've laughed at a hundred times in your local theater. These famous partners come riding into radio just as you've asked for them. William Boyd as Hopalong Cassidy and Andy Clyde as California. Our story tonight, The Mystery of Skull Valley. Today, Hoppy and his partner, California, are many miles from the Bar 20, riding along an old wagon road that winds through the lonely brush country. This is a land of superstition, of Indian legends. But as they ride, California shows little enthusiasm for Hoppy's current venture, which is to buy some prized Hereford bulls at a bankrupt ranch north of Skull Valley. Oh, gone it, Hoppy. We could have stayed at the bar 20 and bought cows without chasing all over creation. But not at the price I'm going to pay out here. There you go. Thinking about money. Well, the rancher's got to improve his stock, California. Eh, just a shame. Money's the root of all evil, as the fellow said. Huh. It's for me. Just give me a horse and a bedroll. I'll be satisfied. Ah. <laughs> uh, well, uh, speaking of money, look down the road. Where? Well, I'll be there. Oh, it looks like a coin. A hundred and fifty dollar gold piece by the size of it. Oh, you know they don't make hundred and fifty dollar gold pieces. Huh. Huh. Well, this ain't the darndest thing I've ever seen. Uh, hey, huh. look at here. There's Spanish writing on it. And a crown. What's a crown doing on that coin, Hoppy? Don't, uh, you don't reckon there's a king around here somewhere, sir? This king has been dead a long time, California. This is an old Spanish coin. Yeah, well, uh, what's it doing on the road? Well, Spain used to own this part of the country in the old days. They did, huh? Well, let's get a shovel and start digging. Whoop, whoop, we're rich, Hoppy. Ah, uh, slow uh, down, California. I'm going to have me a silver-mounted saddle. Two dozen pairs of Cheyenne boots. Silk shirts. <laughs> I'm glad. <it. laughs> and I thought you didn't care anything about money. Oh, that was a couple of minutes ago. Ah, uh, just give me a horse and a bedroll. Oh, quit it, Hoppy Dog. <laughs> gone. There might be millions around here. I've heard of them Spanish treasures. Oh, that's they... probably somebody's good luck piece. He'll come back looking for it directly. Huh. Hoppy, Hoppy, here's another one. Oh, hey, two more, Hoppy. Quick, come here. Well, don't blush the blood, blood vessel. I'm coming. Oh, don't be speed all, Hoppy. Oh, it sure does, California. Look there. Say, say, there, that's blood. And a lot of it. Probably carrying a bullet in him. Uh, hoof prints in the road. Yeah, must be riding his horse. Ain't no other tracks. Now, from the looks of them, they're fresh. Reckon it's the same fella that lost these here coins? Maybe. Mm, he won't last long losing blood that away. Well, let's go find him. He needs help and quick. Back to Hopalong Cassidy. Hoppy and California have stumbled onto some old Spanish coins along a deserted road near Skull Valley. But blood spots in the dust and fresh hoof prints 
lead Hoppy to believe that whoever lost those coins has been badly wounded. Right at the moment, the trail. Look there, California. The tracks lead off into the brush. And there's his horse. Probably fell out of the saddle. Easy, Topper. Easy, boy. No, oh, I see him. Under that mesquite yonder. Looks like he's dead. Well, he's either dead or passed out. Ah, uh, poor fellow. Reckon he's a goner, Hoppy? Give me a hand, Will. Turn him over. Yeah, yeah. Easy now. Oh, there. Well, he's still breathing. No telling how bad that wound is. Somebody got him in the back, high on the shoulder. Look, Hoppy. More of them coins in his shirt pocket. And the pocket's torn. No wonder he was losing his money. Where'd you figure he got them coins? That's what I aim to find out. Find this rock, California, quick. Oh, that blessing like to burn my whiskers. Dog, go on it. Why is anybody shooting the dust? I don't know, California. This brush wasn't so thick. I'd wait till I line my sights on that buzzard doll. There they are on that ridge yonder. Two of them. Maybe this will give them something to think about. You got them, Hoppy? No, they ducked behind those rocks. <sighs> Well, you scared them off anyhow. Look at them ride. See, I'm gonna... Hold your fire, California. You'll only waste bullets. They're out of six-gun range for this time. Yeah, I reckon you're right. Think they was the ones maybe that shot this poor fellow? Wouldn't be at all surprised, California. One of them had a red beard. I remember that. Now we got to get this fellow to a doctor. Rin kind of just up the line a ways. Then we'll go looking for Mr. Redbeard. <laughs> Think you pulled through, Doc? Barring complications. First, I'll have to get that bullet out of him. You happen to know him? His name is Melendez, a sheep herder. Works for Sam Carradine. Sam Carradine, huh? Has he got a red beard by any chance? <laughs> Hardly. Carradine has black hair. Why? Oh, nothing. Oh, looks as if he's coming around. Now, well, maybe we'll find out what this is all about. Vos de la muerte. Vos de la muerte. Listen, old-timer, we're your friend. Who shot you? Vos de la muerte. Vos de la muerte. The poor fellow died. No, he just lost consciousness again. Vos de la muerte. That means voice of the dead in Mexican. Yeah, I know. Doc, uh, why would Melendez talk about a voice of the dead when I ask him who shot him? Well, it's just a superstition. There's a legend that an old Spaniard, Don Pablo, was buried in a mine cave in years ago. The Mexicans claim they can hear him wail on a stormy night. An old Spaniard named Don Pablo. Maybe he's the one that owned them coins. Why, at California. Did you say something about coins? Yeah. Uh, you ever see any coins like these before? Hmm. As a matter of fact, I have. Mind telling me where? Just a moment. Who are you, anyway? The name's Cassidy. Cassidy? Not up along Cassidy of the Bar 20. That's him, all right. Well, I've certainly heard a lot about you, Cassidy. Sure, I'll tell you where I saw one of those coins. Tom Travers had one last week. And who was Travers, Doc? An archaeologist. He came here with his sister about three weeks ago. To put her around the Indian ruins. Where can I see him? Uh, Travers has been missing for several days. Maybe he found one of them Spanish treasures. Quiet, California. Yeah, any idea where Travers could be, Doc? Well, this is wild country, Cassidy. Hard to tell. I've tried to comfort his sister, but... A sister? I'd like to have a talk with her. Where can I find her? She and her brother are staying at the Caradine Hotel. Caradine again. He just bought the place. Made his money in sheep. Well, I reckon I'll see what she has to say. I'll drop back to hear Melendez tell his story. Come on, California. Yes, yeah, sure. Take good care of Melendez, Doc. Somebody might want to silence him permanently. Hoppy. Yeah? How come you didn't tell the doc that Melendez had them coins? He didn't ask me. Yeah, no. You no. scout around town and see what you can find out about the uh, red beard. I'll see the girl. <laughs> Joe got it, Hoppy. You have all the fun. <laughs> I sure do, don't I, California? <laughs> The clerk said somebody wanted to see me on the porch and... Uh, won't you sit down, please, Miss Travers? Thank you. Is it something about my brother? Yes, it is. You found him? No, but I may have a line on him. Your 
brother had an old Spanish coin last week, uh, like this. How did you know? Doc told me. The doctor? Oh, I, I guess Tom did confide in him to a certain extent. But where did you get this? Well, she heard her name Melendez. My partner and I found him with a bullet in his back. He's dead? No. Then he can talk. He must have gotten those from Tom. Maybe he killed him and stole... No, I don't think so. Then what do you think, Mr... Mr... Cassidy. Hopalong Cassidy. Hopalong Cassidy. That name is very familiar. I run the Bar 20 Ranch south of here. And you want to help me find my brother? That's right, Miss Travers. But I don't quite understand what interest you should have... Well, let's just say I like people, especially people in trouble. Now, if you'll tell me what happened the last time you saw your brother... Well, it was four days ago. We were right here on this porch. I've really stumbled onto something this time, Linda. But, Tom, it's probably just an old coin that somebody dropped. Oh, I don't think so. And I'm going back to find more. Take someone with you. Don't go alone. Oh, this is something I have to keep to myself. But you showed this coin around town. Only to the doctor. And I trust him. He's interested in archaeology, too. Oh, Tom, when are you ever going to stop roaming around the country looking for old relics? Why don't you marry some nice girl and settle down? And the same goes for you, Linda. You want me to marry some nice girl? Oh, you know what I mean. Hey, how about Sam Carradine? Be serious, Tom. Now, when I come back, I'll have more money than we can ever spend in a lifetime. Please tell me where you're going. Well, here comes Carradine now. Don't let on what I've told you. Good morning, Tom. Morning, Linda. Good morning, Good morning, Good morning Carradine. Carradine. Well, I see you're all set to ride again, Tom. Going after more of them Indian relics? Yes, just thought I'd putter around some more. Well, in case you don't get back before Saturday, I, I was wondering if I had your permission. Permission for what? To ask Miss Linda to accompany me to the school dance. Why, I think it'd be a good idea. Hey, we'll all go, because I'll be back tomorrow night at the latest. All he would tell me, Mr. Cassidy. Well, maybe Sam Carradine could add a little to that. Is he around? I saw him ride out of town a while ago. He said he was going to his sheep ranch at Salt Creek. Thanks, Linda. And don't you worry. We'll find your brother. I... I hope you find him alive. <laughs> Like I said, Cassidy, Tom Travers is loco. That's the way I got him for here, Hoppy. Quiet, California. Carradine, uh, just what makes you think Tom Travers is crazy? <laughs> Why, any fella that'll go around with a shovel and dig up engineers and pottery and such junk has to be loco. Well, he seems to enjoy doing it. Well, every man to his own taste, I reckon. And him with such a pretty sister. Any idea what could have happened to him? Engines, maybe. They don't like fellas prowling around their mountains. Yeah, maybe he fell off on his horse and busted his full neck. Yeah. That's rough country for a tender foot to be riding in. Sure, then. Have you tried to find him? Sure, sure. I've had my men out twice combing these mountains. But it's mostly lava rock. And you know a horse don't leave tracks on that stuff. <laughs> a harpy could trail land tracks across the neck cell. That's enough, Calvin. No man can track a horse across lava. Well, let's forget about Travis for a minute, Cal. Did you ever see a red-bearded fellow in these parts, uh... About your size? Red beard? Why, uh, no, no, don't reckon I have. See, Hoppy, just like they said in town, ain't nobody ever seen this critter. Uh, probably a drifter. <sighs> well, why you ask about uh, him? He and his partner bushwhacked one of your sheep herders. Hmm? One of mine. Who? Some named Melendez. Melendez? Is he? He's at the dock, but he'll pull through. Uh, has he, uh, has he talked any? No, not yet. Oh, I see. Uh, and this uh, red-bearded gent tried to kill him. Yeah, he was set to finish the job when uh, California and I rode up. Hoppy, Hoppy, look yonder. Where? Uh, down there for the sheep pen. Well, that's him. What's the matter, Cassidy? It's our friend with a red beard. Uh, he spotted us, Hoppy. He's trying to get away. Come on, let's go after him, California. Uh, there's one fellow I sure want to palaver with. I'll bring him down. We can get him, Cassidy. Put that rifle down. Yeah, that fixed him, Cassidy. He won't go around shooting anybody else. Uh, uh, go, darn it. Harrigan, you, you hadn't ought to use that fight. Oh, well, looks like I got him dead center. Yeah, and that looks like the end of Red Beard. Yeah, too bad. I only meant to wing him. Probably just a, a grub line rider looking for a handout. But he hadn't a, ought to try to run away. But Hobby, uh, that dog go on, on, California. Yeah, but... Just to see that. We'll see you in town, Carradine. Yeah, yeah. As soon as I bury this hombre, I'll be in. Carradine killed that fella deliberate. I know that. And uh, why didn't you do something about it? We'll give Carradine enough rope and maybe he'll build himself a hangnoose. 
Before we continue with this exciting story, here is a word from your announcer. Back to our story. Hoppy in California seemed on the verge of getting their first break in the mystery of the Spanish coins and the disappearance of Tom Travers. The red-bearded man who had shot at them earlier in the day rode into Sam Carradine's sheep camp, but before the partners could overtake him, Carradine shot him dead. We now find Carradine in his cabin questioning one of his men. You wanted to see me, Carradine? I sure do. I'd have been out to your shack sooner, boss, but my horse threw a shoe. Uh, is that all? Yeah. Hey, where's Red? Where you be if you don't talk. Now, what about Melendez? Well, he come along with his sheep, see? Never mind a hey, detail. Hmm? What happened? Well, me and Red was keeping an eye on Travers, like you said. Go on. We, uh, we went up on the ridge looking for a deer we seen. Is see? that keeping an eye on Travers? We just figured on some fresh meat for tonight, boss. But while we was up there, we seen Melendez come by. I watched him through the glasses and seen him pick up some of them gold coins. How'd he find those? Well, don't want to find no, Carradine. He stuck them in his shirt pocket and they lit out of there like the devil was after him with a scalpel knife. Why didn't you stop him, you fool? The Red did try a long shot with a rifle and winged him, but by the time we got down off the ridge, he was gone. We tracked him, was about to finish the job when two hombres... Cassidy and his partner. Cassidy? You mean one of them fellas was Hopalong Cassidy? Yeah. As if I haven't got troubles enough. Why, well, don't you worry, Carradine. The scene still begins. He just come back from the docks office. Melendez is in bad shape, he says. Ain't been able to talk yet. Yeah, and he ain't going to. Now, here's what we do. Tonight's the school dance. While I'm waltzing Linda Travers, I want you to know. <laughs> Well, how about, how about dancing this one, Linda? We danced every one, Mr. Carradine. Oh, now, can't you get used to calling me Sam? But I don't know you that well, Mr. Carradine. Well, you don't know that Cassidy fellow either, but you call him Hoppy. Well, I... Patty's I... Ah, uh, speaking of the devil, here he comes now. Hello, Linda. Hello, Hoppy. Howdy, Carradine. Howdy. I have thought to play a waltz next time. Uh, how about it? I'd love to, Hoppy. Well, here's my waltz. Mind stepping aside? No, I don't mind stepping aside. Carradine looks angry. Not half as mad as he's going to be. The trap's all set. Then you do think Carradine is behind us? By keeping my eye on him, I'll soon know. I felt he was evasive about Tom's disappearance. I have an idea you had the right feeling, Linda. Oh, I wish Tom had never found those old Spanish coins. But they may lead to a fortune. A man like Carradine would kill for a lot less. I'm so worried. Hey, stop it. Oh, oh, shot. Sure. Sounded like shot. Hey, what happened, Jack? Those oh, shots came from the docks, all of Carradine. Come on. Uh, why would anyone be shooting at docks? To keep someone from talking, maybe. Melinda, he's in there. Exactly, Linda. And let's hope he's still alive. <laughs> What happened, California? Uh, well, I waited in the docks office like you said. 
two fellas sneak in. I was standing there in the dark. And... Uh, uh, who who were they? Did you see them? No, not till I saw them leaning over them rolled up blankets in the bed that they thought was Melendez. There they was, pouring lead into You them. mean Melendez wasn't in the bed? No, care then. Thank you, He's in another part of the house. Well, why would anyone want to hurt an old man like that? Maybe he knew something someone didn't want repeated. Uh, I'm sure sorry, Hoppy, about the way I ruined things. How'd they get away? Well, just as I was going to corner him, I, I tripped over this here darn box. Well, I'm glad they didn't do more than bend a gun barrel over your oh, head. Oh, gone me. Anyhow, we could have got them fellas and made them talk, and then... Well, forget it. What do you do now, Hoppy? We'll make other plans, and they'll start with Carradine. Uh, Carradine? He's gone. I figured he would be. Hoppy. What's up, Doc? I was going to send for you just before the shooting. Melendez talked a little. What did he say? Oh, he kept muttering about the Voce de Miate, Voice of the Dead. What a thing of the skull. Where's that? It's north of here. Full of old mines that have petered out. Your first work for the Spaniards. Wait a minute. What is it, California? And then two gunmen come into this room. I heard them say something about the Silver Queen mine. And the Silver Queen is in Skull Valley. That's where we're going, California. Please be careful, Hoppy. Don't worry about me. Doc, tell me how to reach this mine and we'll be on our way. Good thing the moon's out, Hoppy. We never found this here mine. Yeah. We've got to go the rest of the way on foot. You reckon Carradine's here yet? You can't tell. Maybe we ought to wait till uh, daylight. But, but if Travers is alive, we got to get him now. Oh. You hear that, Hoppy? What? Somebody yelling for help. Sounds like an animal to me, Hoppy. Uh, let's go back to town and come some other time. I'll bet one of those Spanish coins against the nickel is Tom Travers. Oh. Coming from that there mine entrance. That's probably what Melendez heard. You mean this is that Bos de la Muerte business? Sure. Here's the mine. Come on. I sure followed you a lot of places, Hoppy, but this here's the worst. Wait, I'll strike a match. Oh, look at them timbers, Hoppy. If a fella breathed on them, the whole tunnel would cave in. Then hold your breath, California. They rot. Almost clear, too. Travers. Tom Travers. Is that you, Carradine? We're friends. We've come to get you. Oh, thank God. Listen, I'm about a hundred feet in the tunnel, in a shaft. Be careful. We're coming. I sure don't like this, Hoppy. I don't suppose Travers likes it much either. Ah! Uh, I walked into something. A timber. Look out! Oh! Oh! oh. I thought we were gone. The shoring's almost gone in here. You all right, Travers? Yes. But hurry. You're almost here. Be careful. Careful now in this tunnel, California. Uh, I'm feeling my way careful. Like. I'm just ahead. Down this shaft on the ledge about ten feet down. And a sheer drop from here on. Hold it right here, California. It'll lie like another match. Uh, that's better. A buddy can see now. We can see you, Travers. We'll have you out in no time. Careful the sides don't cave. I watch that. Now, California. I'm laying down on the edge here. You hold my feet. I, I think I can reach you. No way, Hoppy. No way. If that bank slips. Uh, we'll have to take that chance. Now sit on my feet, California. Uh, I got it. If you go, I go with you, Hoppy. Now, Travers, can you reach up till you touch my hand? I'll try. Yes. Yes, I can just reach. That's good. Now let me grip your wrist and come up easy like. And don't kick the side of that wall. I'm ready, Hoppy. Easy now. Up. Up. I'm making it. Steady now. Just a little more. There. You're up. Oh, thank heavens for you. Carradine left me here to rot because I... I wouldn't tell him where the coins were. Good thing you didn't. I couldn't tell him. I only found a few old coins in a wine cask. Probably left by some Spaniard who worked the claim. You, you think you can walk? I'll try. I haven't had any food or water. That carrot in order to get a taste of the same medicine. He'll get worse. You came in the long way through that tunnel, same as I did, before I discovered this side tunnel. He's right, Hoppy. Bush has grown over it, but I can see moonlight. Well, then let's get out before we have visitors. You already got visitors, Cassidy, but you ain't going to enjoy their company. Carrot is right in here. Now we have your corners in the dark, Cassidy. Try to get out of this. What do you intend to do, Caroline? I'm no fool, Cassidy. You ain't keeping me talking till help comes. I'm too smart for you. Edge out that side tunnel with Travers, California. Huh. But listen, I ain't budging with you left behind, Hoppy. Do as I ask, Hoppy. All right. Go on, fast. 
I ain't hear you whispering, Cassidy, and it won't get you nothing. There's three of us against you. Yeah, I know, but you can't shoot, Carradine. These old rotten timbers that cave in, and a vibration of a shot would do it. Well, I got it. You saw me kill Red. The whole mountain will be in on you, Carradine. All clear, California? Clear, hurry, hurry. Oh, no, you don't, Cassidy. Let him have it, Buck. He's right, boss. The shore is pretty rough. He's getting away. Shoot, you fool. Back to our story. Yeah, you're all right, Hoppy? Yeah, I'm all right. But I'm afraid Carradine and his men wish they'd taken my advice. It was Carradine who did the shoot. Yeah, and he won't ever worry about Spanish gold anymore. Oh, but for you, I'd have been buried along with him. Hoppy, I don't even feel sorry for that Carradine. Greed like he had ain't good for a man. How you talk, California. Well, when you found those coins, you were going to buy a silver saddle, Cheyenne boot. Uh, <laughs> you know darn well you wouldn't have had no use for me lolling in front of a barber shop with nothing but money. Then you've changed your mind about being rich. Oh, I sure have. But uh, like I said before, I found them coins. Just give me a bed roll and a good horse. Is that all? And a dollar every Saturday night for tobacco. <laughs> from Hop Along Cassidy and California. Another job is done and they're heading back to the Bar 20. But they'll be riding out again soon and they'd be mighty pleased if you'd join them for another story of action and excitement. Hop Along Cassidy, starring William Boyd, is transcribed and produced in the West by Walter White, Jr. The Mystery of Skull Valley was written by Dean Owen and Howard Swart. All stories are based upon the characters created by Clarence E. Mulford. This is a Commodore production. Hey, thanks for listening to Good Old Radio and Hopalong Cassidy. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the world. And we'll see you next time. Bye now.